Okay, so we got a bit of a continuous. I'm going to turn that light out. If I start turning this to the left this time, that 10k pot. Oh, and we're actually burning up the solder like that. So I'm going to take the power off. So I do the solder. Let's pop that power back on again and just see if it's. Uh, so 22 watts, 20 watts. That's what it's saying over over there. Look. And if I start turning that back again, if I go to the left, it's going down 15, 12 watts. If I start going back to the right, 25, 26 watts. Fine. Let's see if we can get that to. Okay. And if I turn the other part to the right, that's 40 watts. Oh, I dropped one of my sticks. I'm glad I got two. So we are getting a. Uh, like that's 22. That goes up to. Did you see sort of 40 watts? So I wonder if it's possible to use this for the little. Little Tesla. I don't want to do it too much. I have to start smelling something heating up. So let's just take the power off. And do some voltage checks. Watch your eyes. Yeah, do some voltage checks. Temperature. That's warming up a bit. The coils not terribly warm. Just check the voltage regulator. Mm. They should be okay. I mean, it's supposed to be five watts, but. Got a lot more ability to dissipate power there, but it is warm. They are warm. They're seven watts each. These resistors, but it between them, it gives me just over an ohm. I think it was one, uh, one point zero, and sorry, uh, one zero seven four, something like that, if I remember rightly. The resistance across here, it wanted to be one ohm at five watts, so that's good for that. And that I didn't think would get warm, and the MOSFET's not terribly. Two one, but it's not really doing a great deal, is it? And the it can go up to eighteen volts this circuit. So, but I suppose that shows that it works. So the, this one at eighteen volts, look, you can get it to pull a nice little bit off, but nowhere near as good as using it doesn't jump across that's 122 watts it says as well let me show you look 122 watts 23 and climbing so we probably don't want to do that too much that's a lot of power that's a, that's more than more than the other one. Now I know this is like back to front on the video. Uh, I'm sorry, but there's like I calculate it's uh, one hour forty minutes of video without including this little bit. What's it say? 117 watts. That's nice. Nice little colour. And that's uh, as you can see, look burning through the paper on here, which. Isn't such a good thing. So, I've got to try and. Well, I can't. I'll have to. Well, I don't know if you can see that, but this is a bit harder to, to do. So, I'll have to just literally just chuck the power on. I have a quick little monitor to see what happens when I do that. Oh, okay, that's 18. Oh, that's much better. Okay, let's just turn that off. Okay, so it works for that, 25, 25 watts, uh, 19 now, just sat there, and that was with eyes, <clears throat> and that was with this turn, is this still sort of halfway, if I turn that to the left, not quite halfway, so if I put that back to about halfway, where's this, turn it to the right, that's probably about halfway. No, yeah, probably about halfway ish. Oh, if I put 
but I'll wait like that might make it a bit easy to see that yeah mm. put the power back so that's his 13 mm. see over there now look it's his 13 just sat there doing nothing okay so I could use this Ooh, I'm trying to pull after all. I wonder if I can just get out to stay I can't I'm going to have to put something there. Okay. So now let's see what we can do with you, Justin. So that's me turning that back counterclockwise. So, has that stopped? No, oh, I think it has. I hope it's not killed anything. It is quite warm, that is. Try and get that a bit closer. So it's like that. I hope you got to see that then. I was, unfortunately, I was trying to keep an eye on everything else. Um, and these connections may not be the greatest. Let's see what happens. It says 34 volts, but nothing's coming out of the flyback. Uh, 34 watts, even. So that's. I'll turn that back to the middle. Let's see what happens. Okay, that does try and start. Okay, I'm going to turn it to the right a bit more. That doesn't really do a great deal. There's 11 watts. 11, 11 watts. I'm going to have to stay on there. Oh, darn it. Yeah, no, it, it prefers to be sort of sat in the middle of it, I think. And my connection's absolutely rubbish, so if I get a better, better power connection, that might help. Let me just do a temperature. That's quite warm, we need a little break. Okay, so remember this is just at 12 volts, there's no real restriction on the current. It's got a limit of 15 amps, something like that is the restriction, I suppose. But um, And of course the transformers will only give us... 13.2 or so so um, this seems to be the best I've got it near enough turned all the way to the right I suppose I could go you know, completely to the right and this is still round about round about halfway this 5k is so the 10k parts turned near enough all the way to the right what do I just put I should probably uh, connect this up a bit better this time, as you can hear, it's making a lot more noise. And even though it's not just that real smooth, I mean, it is there. But I think that's probably the the most powerful. Yeah, so I need to disconnect that. As you can hear, you can hear that. Um, I don't know what that's called. Actually, it smells nice. Like, Mm. Yeah, just another quick look at that circuit. I'm not sure how it's going to be um, as I now connect it up to a coil and the secondary um, transformer in the, the coil over there. But if it was just a case of this one being, uh, it, what I'm basically trying to say is it's not very powerful in the write up to this circuit that you can't have a diode, a rectifier diode. So I, I'm going to assume that this doesn't have a rectifier diode because it's exactly the same sort of output as what this is, and what well, we can see that this doesn't have a, a rectifier diode at all. It's just got a few turns there. I suppose what I could do as well is um, connect this into this one and just have half of this on the go or this to this, whichever, to have half of this because it says like five to six turns, I think. And of course, this has got a lot more turns on here at the minute. So let's give that a go as well and see what happens. Well, that's interesting because it's not as good with only half, with only the amount that they said to give because... Look, you can see how I've connected between these two. 
so it's just from the center tap here to here and it isn't anywhere as good just try and get that to get there you can see here look that's all we got I'm even trying to stretch it out it's not as good definitely not as good it's worth checking, it's worth seeing, you know, what the difference will be. Oh, that's all part of doing the experiments. So I'm going to put that back over here. Um, but I think this might be dragging on now, this video. And there's not a great deal to cut out. It's not as though we've got great big times of pause, but this probably could be cut out while I'm jibbering on about now. So let's stop. Uh, yeah, and now let's, uh, I'm going to try and find some of the capacitors, I suppose. Maybe I can play around the capacitors a bit as well and see if that will make any difference. Um, add a bit of capacitance by removing one of those capacitors. And we can do that just by disconnecting here and connecting here or connecting here. And we'll see what happens there. Yeah, great. Well, oddly enough, I don't know if anybody else noticed, but the wire's off. So we haven't got those capacitors connected anyway. So let's just give that a go again. Because look, if I do, if I just put this back here again. And do this. Okay, so that's what we got without the capacitors. Yep. Oh, it's not the greatest connections I know. I'll put this back. Onto that, there, and and do that again. I don't know. If, I don't think we've got our connection as it's supposed to be. All right, let me just fiddle with the. Let me just fiddle. I'm a bit lost. Where do we get to? Uh, I reconnected the um, the capacitors, right? Wasn't it? And we're still on just half of this so let's give it some power oh there we go so it's on 50 watts it says on that oh, over there 41 if I get this it's not really great I don't think it's as good and it might be let's get back and look at the video again Okay, right, let's just disconnect that. Oh, that noise. Mm -hmm. It makes the air smell so nice. Mm. <sighs> right. Okay. So now I've put it back to the two outer ones. So we've got all of those turns. Okay, so that says 35 watts. Look, and it's using less power. Disconnect it. Yeah, better like that. Uh, let's have a look at the the thingy, the um, capacitance on. Let's get some light. Pretty sure that's like 100 nano. Supposed to be. Let's have a look. Let's get it on the uh, meter and see. Okay, so connected to the meter on all the frequencies: 1k, 7.5k, and 100 hertz. It's uh, 100 pico. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure whether that's going to be good enough. I need a bit more on that, I would have thought. I've got these ones here. These are 100 nanofarads. Um, 3 kilowatt each. Right, we've got a choice. I've got a bunch of these. And these are 100 picofarad each. 20 kilowatt. 
Or I've got a bunch of these, and these are 100 nanofarads each at 3 kilovolt. Or, or I've got this. Dun, dun, dun. That's 100 nanofarad, 20 kV. And I, I've used this uh, before. On, if, on my very first videos when I built the big long like candle bloody stick coil took me five and a half hours to wind it <laughs> and I didn't move in all that time as well um, I think actually I did have a, I did have a break yeah and, and this sort of worked because I, I did it I, I got one and I got probably coming off it like this going to an earth stick uh, maybe a bit bigger, it's on one of my first videos, but I managed to blow uh, these. I will have to dig out the other ones of these because some of them are made up like this already in series in rows of four and a whole bunch in parallel as well. So, but it burnt them out after a while because I was just turning up the power more and more and more. So, uh, really, I could use these and not turn up the power so much, and we get get a bit of something going off it. I'm just going to do one of these then and just see the difference. I just want to see what the difference is before I start playing around with the other ones. Okay. Hardly any noise, nothing. Oh, that's tiny. So be it. Okay, and look how it knocks out Knocks out that as well. Uh, right, okay, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's that's noteworthy. I'm going to try one of these, and I'm going to try one of these, because this one's a lot less. This is 100 picofarads. This is 100 nanofarads, single 3 kilowatt. Let's just give it a go, see what happens. Okay, so there we go, connected like that. That's just how the other one was connected. There's nothing special. Wow. It's making a bit of noise. Okay, let me just let me just move this up a little bit so we can. It's jumping. You know, it's starting itself off at a bigger gap, which is good. We want that. We want that. And we're making quite a bit of noise there as well, and that's just with that little capacitor. So let's just see what that's like just before we put the single one on. This. I think they work. It's still the same voltage, um, same everything. All the connections are good. Okay, no noise. Not really. That's pretty good actually. That's a bit better. That's not bad. And 28 watts says when it's just sat like that um, right so let's just do the the single one and see what that's like okay so we've got the single one just power it up yeah, that's making some noises Now the differences may not be massive, but there are differences, isn't there? So after quite a lot of playing around, um, and there not being that much difference between using... Uh, I mean, there is a little bit of differences, but it's quite hard to try and work out what's what with them. But I'm using this big one at the moment. Sorry, those lights in the background. This big one. And I've turned the voltage up to 18 volts as well. You can see that. And now... We get quite a bit more. And 
and it's using 87 watts. I'm just going to see if I can move that back just a little bit. It's, and I have sort of like tuned this into pretty much. This isn't even all the way. It is all the way to the right. If I just back that off a little tiny bit. it up a bit more because this all well, this is just playing with them okay look so I take that back to around about the middle and this one I think this is about in the middle yeah because that if I turn that just let's say a quarter to the left Nothing. It's almost like the wires come off. I put it back to the middle. Okay. I just turn it to the right slightly. Try and get that back again. Um, turn it. There we go. So it's pretty much bang in the middle and a wincy bit to the left. Well, that's certainly an improvement. If I just see what that would be like, well, no, we know what it's like at 12 volt. I've done it time and time. Let's try and get it to work as a Tesla coil now. I haven't got any sort of top load. Um, but that's obviously for another video, so I'm going to call that a, a night with that. But, um, yeah. That's all right. That's, that's, that's the circuit does definitely work. Uh, most definitely works, and just got to get that the actual Tesla sparky part of it sorted out. Not quite sure how to do that just yet. Even though I've done it before, it doesn't seem to be working the same this time. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you got this far and. So what else we can do with this thing?